and welcome to The Update. I'm Michelle Stevenson. The WA Premier has announced a three-day lockdown, which includes the Perth and Peel regions. A man who tested positive to COVID in Melbourne overnight had been in the Perth community for five days while infectious. Mark McGowan says the man had spent time there after leaving hotel quarantine. That friend has, who was a close contact, had a rapid COVID test today and that has just returned a positive result. Now, Anzac Day dawn services have also been cancelled. Pressure is ramping up on the federal government to set a target date to achieve net zero emissions. It follows a virtual summit on climate change with calls for Australia from other countries to adopt a more ambitious target. The PM, though, has told world leaders the how is more important than the when. How we actually achieve it will determine when we achieve it. But the federal opposition's Joel Fitzgibbon says there's no reason we can't have a longer-term goal. Once that commitment is made, that target shouldn't change within the commitment period. But Angus, why is it you can have a medium-term target, but you can't have a longer-term target out to 2050? Now, there's been another murder-suicide in as many days, this time a man and a woman on the Gold Coast. It follows the death of a father and his daughter in South Australia, while a woman died from burns with her ex-partner accused of her murder, also on the Gold Coast. Flu cases over in the US have hit the lowest level on record. That's due to the pandemic, with many people wearing face masks. And Australia has been declared the safest travel destination in the world, a survey of 22,000 international travellers has found our country is seen as the safest option once international travel resumes. Taking a look at your sport and two men will face court next month. That's after allegedly bombarding South player Latrell Mitchell with racist messages on social media. The NRL star called police to investigate those messages. In entertainment news, Russell Crowe has confirmed his role in the latest Thor movie. The star will be playing Zeus opposite Chris Hemsworth. Now, Madonna's daughter, Lourdes, has opened up about her first boyfriend. And what a doozy. She says she briefly dated school pal Timothy Chalamet. And Kendall Jenner has taken out two restraining orders in the last two days. The latest is against a man who broke into a property. He was actually found naked and in her her pool area. Now that is the latest from the Nova Podcast News team. We'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update.